Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this really beautiful crochet cable envelope pillow. I used the Bernat home yarn. It's kind of, I would say it's comparable to like t-shirt material, but obviously it's a lot thinner and it's super soft and almost kind of luxurious, I would say. But this is the front panel and then we have two smaller panels that we're going to use to assemble. So the first part of this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make this front panel. And this pillow is designed to uh, fit over a 20 by 20 inch insert that you could pick up at Joann's or get on Amazon or whichever you like. So again, this is the Bernat, um, not to be confused with the indoor outdoor yarn, this is the home uh, yarn. And I am using an eight millimeter crochet hook. And so um, let's just get started. First thing we're gonna do is make our slip knot. We're gonna insert our hook and basically the way it's gonna work out is you have 18 stitches here, you have your 12 cable stitches and then you're going to have another 18 stitches. So in total, 18 plus 12 plus 18. We're going to do that all the way across. And it's just going to be a real simple repeat. Let me just pull this over here. Sorry, not trying to confuse you more. I'm more of a visual person. So basically, we're going to do about this much of the pillow together. So you can get an idea of how this repeats and how the braid actually works. And then from there, um, I'll show you how to assemble. Uh, I'm sorry, bleh, I'll show you how to do the back panel, um, which is these two panels here. And then from there, we'll come back and I'll assemble this pillow to show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a foundation chain of 49. So one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So for row one, what we're going to do is in the second chain from the hook, we're going to place a half double crochet. And if you don't know how to work a half double crochet, it goes like this, yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. You yarn over and you draw through all three loops. And that's a half double crochet. So let's do that again a few more times. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up another loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. You continue along with these half double crochets all along the row, your very first row. So go ahead and do that, pause the video, and then meet me back here for instructions on how to do row two. Okay, so here we are. We're at our very last stitch, yarn over, 
insert, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and draw through all three loops. So that's the end of our first row. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and we're going to turn. Now in this particular pattern your chain twos are going to count as a stitch. So what we're going to do now is we have one and we're going to go 17 more half double crochet and then we're going to start preparing for our cable. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'm just going to double check and make sure. So we've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. So now what we're going to do is front post double crochet stitches. That may sound scary, but it's not. Okay, so just bear with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over. We're going to come down here. You see this post right here? We're going to go in and behind. Do you see how that post stitch is kind of popped out? We're going to yarn over. Draw up that loop. We've got our three. Ah, yarn over. Draw through two, yarn over, draw through two more. Okay, that's our very first front post double crochet. And we're going to do this for 12, remember? So yarn over, go behind the next post stitch, draw it up, and just work your double crochet like normal. Let me see if I can't get my camera to focus a little bit better. Let me zoom you in just for a second to see if this this will help you. Okay. Let's see if that helps. My camera doesn't want to focus. Okay. Not wanting to focus on the. Sorry. Okay. There's three. Here's four. Four. Six. Let me just stop for a second to see. Do you see how these stitches are kind of popped out just a little bit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's see. There's seven. Nine, 
11 and 12. Let's double check and make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. So now what we're going to do is the exact same thing that we did over here with those 18 half double crochets over here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So now we're going to chain two and turn. So all of the this would be considered the wrong side, okay, because this is where the front of the cable is going to be, so we're working on the wrong side. All of the wrong side rows are worked exactly the same way, and what I mean by that is it'll be 18, and then it will be, I'm sorry, 18 half double crochet, then it will be 12 back post double crochet, which is just the opposite of what we do here, and I'll show you how to do all that, but just for notes and reference sake, I'm not going to film every wrong side as I'm working up. So just know this is how you do the wrong side every time. So remember our chain two counts as one. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, all right, keep having to pull yarn, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18. All right, and so remember when we were doing the front post double crochets, we were basically going like this. Well, for a back post, it's exactly what it means. You're going to double crochet, and instead of going this way, we're going to go behind like that and work the double crochet. And don't worry, I will do this whole row slowly if I could get my camera to focus. This camera's being so difficult. All right, so it's yarn over. Go behind the stitch. Just like that. Pull through two. Pull through two. Yarn over. Go behind. Just like so. And just for encouragement, my 10 year old daughter just learned how to do crochet cables. So don't ever tell yourself, this is too hard. I can't figure it out. Just be patient. Oop, there's a little hair. You will figure it out. I promise if she can learn how to do it. So can you just be patient. It's a new way of teaching your hands and your hook but you will definitely get it. Don't tell yourself you can't. I really even love 
the back side of crochet cables because the little this little ridge it just looks really cool I appreciate that all right almost done with all of our back post double crochets Whew, is it hot where you are it is hot here in Kansas Ugh. I am ready for cool weather comment down below tell me do you love or do you hate the summer heat all right so that was our last post one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I would highly recommend if this is your first time crocheting cables just always double check your stitches just to make sure because you don't want it all of a sudden growing on you or you miss something because that's going to make your braid look weird so definitely just double check yourself and then you know the drill 18 half double crochet three four five six seven eight nine oops my goodness this yarn ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, ah, 15, my yarn's getting tight, it got wrapped around something, 16, 17, ah, 17, and 18, don't forget to do it in that last chain two, all right, chain two, and turn, okay, there's the beauty in this row. Pay close attention because this is where it's going to start to get fun. All right. So, all right. So do your 18 half double crochet and then meet me on your 18th. And I'm all right. We finished our 18th half double crochet and this is where it's about to get fun. So we're going to do a French braid. Obviously, if you've ever French braided hair, you typically do what? You take three strands of hair and it's this, you know, kind of a number okay so we have 12 here so each strand is going to be broken up into sets of four so you have one two three four these first four posts we're going to skip and we're going to start right here and instead of working the front post double crochet what we're going to do is work the front post treble crochet and so you'll notice I wrapped two times instead of just the one. A front post double crochet, we're gonna wrap once, but with the front post treble, we're gonna wrap twice. We're gonna skip one, two, three, four, and we're gonna begin right here in this post. Now be sure, don't go all the way down here. You're going into the post, so not the post below, just this post. So yarn over, draw up your loop. You're gonna yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Wrap twice, go into the next one, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Wrap twice, go into the next post, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then the last one, just work that front post treble crochet. Now, this is where most people get overwhelmed and freaked out, but rest assured, practiced, ma practiced, practice makes progress. So what we're gonna do is these four stitches that we skipped we're gonna go behind like that we're gonna go behind and we are going to work these up with these front post trebles so we're gonna wrap twice we're gonna go behind and we're gonna grab this first post so we've wrapped twice 
we're going to reach if I can keep my camera in focus. Okay, I know that looked so crazy. Just like that. And just work it like normal. Okay, and usually once you get that first one done, it is a little bit easier. So wrap twice, go behind. Okay, here I am. I'm coming down, I'm grabbing. Okay, there, I've grabbed. Working it like so. I keep getting over off center. Like that. Okay, that's two. Okay. Oh, you know what I managed to do? Look at that. Don't do what I just did. I wrapped around that one. See, this is good. I'm keeping these bloopers in here so you can see what not to do. So just keep these out of the way. And I would just recommend play around with it until you kind of get a feel for it. Okay, so you see how you've kind of got this thing, and let me, um, whoop, my phone fell. Um, so that's the crisscross. I'm going to show the other panel real quick, just so you can see what we just did. So what we just did was this part. Do you see? So we came across, we did these, then we came behind and we grabbed these stitches, and then we're going to end here. So this, this is what we're doing right now. Does that make sense? We just did these. We pulled behind so we can grab those stitches on the next row. And we made that. And so the next row will be this, you know, little section. Okay, so just for reference sake, this is the section that we're doing right now. If that helps you visualize it a little bit more. And then in the last four one, two, three, four. We're just working it like normal. Pretty easy. I mean, honestly, the hardest one to do is that behind one. That's the most challenging. But once, usually once you get a couple of rows made, then it's like, okay, this isn't that hard. But it just takes some practice. And I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. Yarn over twice. Insert. Draw up your loop, yarn over, and then just work it like that. And then you know the drill, 18 half double crochet. I'll meet you at the end. So I know I said I wasn't gonna show you the backside every single time, but I did realize that I needed to make mention of when you're doing the back post double crochets that you want to keep um, like your stitches in order. And here's what I mean. So we're gonna do a back post double crochet in these 12 stitches and these first four are easy to do because they're not crisscrossed with one another so once I get these first four done I'll show you what I mean so if you look you've got these kind of crisscrossed in the front and you might normally want to grab these first to do your back post double crochet but if you look the first ones to grab are these so they would technically be the ones pulling behind if that makes sense so essentially when you are getting into the crisscrossed section you just want to make sure that you're grabbing the stitches in the right order if that makes sense grab them in the right order and then just work your back post double crochets. And so now we would grab those. And again, until you get a few repeats of the cable, 
it's going to feel a little wonky. But just keep practicing. And then once you're done with that, oops, that last stitch, you just pop right back over here and continue on with your half double crochets, just like that. All right, so now we're getting ready to do the next section of the cable. So we're doing front post treble crochets. So in your first four, you're gonna work those front post trebles So we've got those four. Now these four behind here, they're hiding. We're gonna skip those four. And we're gonna do these four. And then going back to these skipped ones, we're going to go in front, go down here, grab that first one, go to the next one, grab the next one. third one and then the last one and then continue on with your half double crochets and let me lay this out for a second so you can kind of start to see how our braid's working, okay? And then when we work that wrong side with just those back post double crochets, this will pop a little bit more and it'll really look nice and crisp. But once you get done with your front panel, um, it's just a repeat of those back post stitches. Uh, I'm sorry, the front post treble crochet stitches, you know, being worked behind and then you do your wrong side row, and then the next one is you do these, skip these, right? So just for reference sake, the first time we make the cable, we go skip, grab, go behind, then do these, then we do the wrong side, and then for the next row we do these, skip these, do these, and work in front and grab these. And that is what's creating that back and forth French braid like look. So follow the instructions in the pattern, which is linked down below in the description, and then come back and I'll show you how to quickly make those two back panels. And then finally, we'll finish it off with how to assemble it all together. Okay, so for your back panel, all it's gonna be is a foundation chain of 31. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And then it's a simple single crochet each and every row. So in your second chain from the hook, you're just gonna do a single crochet and then continue with a single crochet all the way across. Then you'll chain one, 
your chain one counts as the first single crochet in the next row and single crochet all the way across and you'll make two identical panels just like that. And next I'm going to show you how to assemble it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to assemble this. And kind of like in sewing, you want to assemble everything with your right sides together. So this is an envelope pillowcase and what I mean by that is instead of having one solid panel that goes the full width um, for your back, you're going to have these two panels that are going to overlap one another like this. And so what you'll do is, you know, you're going to insert your pillow into one side and then shove it into the other and then flatten it all out and it'll work just fine. So um, like I said, these two are just going to kind of overlap a little bit like that. And then what you'll do is you'll take all three of the edges and I recommend starting in the middle and you're basically going to seam all the way around the entire pillow. And again, you've got right sides all facing together and for your back panels, there's not really a right or wrong side because it's the same exact thing. You're just mainly focused on your cable side. So you're going to do that and you could do it one of two ways. You could do a single crochet all the way around and if you wind up doing it that way, when you get to your corners, you're gonna wanna make sure to put three stitches to give yourself a nice rounded edge. So if you wind up doing it that way, just be sure that you place three single crochet in your corner to give you a nice rounded edge. Or if you decide to use a tapestry needle and you sew all around, I would still recommend maybe two stitches in your corner just so you don't have any like tightness or anything. You want it to have a nice defined edge in the corner. Once you're done, you flip your pillow right side out, kind of poke your fingers in the corners and you're good to go. And that's really all that there is to it for assembly. Those two options, you choose which one you like best and go from there. I really hope you like this video. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you like this pillow. I would love to see your finished Jessica pillows. Just tag me on Instagram or social media at yarn hook needles. If you want the full instructions uh, down below is the link to the blog post. And then of course you can also purchase the PDF for $2.99 on Ravelry. And so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below with other types of home decor projects you'd like to see. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.